We are all familiar with solar panels, wind turbines and hydropower dams as sources of electricity. But what if I told you there are some downright bizarre, mind-blowing ways to generate power that seem more like science fiction than real life? Imagine harnessing lightning to power cities, generating electricity from bacteria or using human sweat to charge your phone. These aren't ideas from a sci-fi movie, they're happening right now. In fact, some of these methods are so strange that they make solar panels look old-fashioned. Stick around until the end of the video and I'll share one of the weirdest ways to make electricity. Hint, it involves exploding balloons. Let's dive in and explore some of the weirdest ways humanity is creating power. One of the weirdest but most fascinating ways to generate electricity comes from bacteria. That's right, scientists have developed what are called microbial fuel cells, which use microorganisms to convert or convert organic matter into energy. Here's how it works. Bacteria feed on waste material like sewage, food scraps or even dirty water. And during the digestion process, they release electrons. Those electrons are captured and converted into electricity. This technology is not only weird, but also incredibly useful. Imagine powering waste treatment plants or remote sensors using electricity generated from the very waste they process. Some experiments have even shown that bacteria-powered cells could one day power medical devices inside the human body. It sounds like something from the future, but microbial fuel cells could soon be a key player in the energy sector. What if your body could become a power plant? Well, it turns out it already is. Researchers are working on ways to generate electricity from body heat and sweat. Devices like thermoelectric generators can convert heat from your skin into power. Think about it. You could charge your smartphone or smartwatch just by wearing it. No need to plug it in anymore. And it doesn't stop there, scientists have also developed sweat-powered fuel cells. These tiny devices use lactic acid in your perspiration to generate small amounts of electricity. Right now, these cells can power fitness trackers and health sensors, but researchers are hoping to scale them up for even bigger applications. Imagine walking around with electricity generating clothing that could power your gadgets as you move through your day. No chargers required. Harnessing the energy from a lightning strike sounds impossible, right? After all, a single lightning bolt can generate over a billion volts of electricity, but capturing that energy has been a major challenge. However, scientists are working on ways to trap the energy from lightning storms to use it for practical purposes. One idea is to install huge metal towers or graphene-based conductors that attract lightning and store the energy in advanced batteries. Although it's still experimental, the potential is mind-blowing. If we could capture even a small fraction of the energy from lightning, we'd have enough electricity to power entire cities. The only catch? We need a reliable way to predict and direct lightning strikes. But if the research succeeds, we could one day use thunderstorms to charge the electrical grid. Ever wonder if walking, dancing or jumping could create electricity? Well, with piezoelectric technology it can. Piezoelectric materials generate electricity when they are compressed or bent. Some cities have already experimented with piezoelectric floors that convert the energy from footsteps into usable power. For example, in certain busy subway stations and dance clubs, every step a person takes sends a small burst of electricity to the grid. The idea of turning human movement into power is gaining traction. Imagine powering street lights or public charging stations just by people walking around. Or think about piezoelectric clothing that captures your movements and charges your devices. It's weird, but this technology could revolutionize the way we think about generating electricity from everyday activities. What if plants could power your home? As strange as it sounds, scientists have found a way to generate electricity from plants. 
Certain plants release tiny electrical currents through their roots when they absorb nutrients from the soil. By placing electrodes near the roots, researchers can capture these currents and convert them into usable energy. Some companies are already experimenting with bioelectric gardens that power small devices like LED lights and Wi-Fi routers. This technology could be a game changer in remote areas where traditional power infrastructure doesn't exist. Just imagine, one day you might be able to light up your home with the help of your backyard plants. It's eco-friendly, sustainable and definitely weird. Ready for one of the strangest ways to generate electricity? Meet the triboelectric generator, a device that creates power from friction. When certain materials rub together, like balloons, fabric or plastic, they exchange electrons and generate a charge. This is the same principle behind the static shock you get when touching a doorknob after walking on carpet. Some researchers have taken this concept to the extreme, building devices that can generate electricity from popping balloons or rubbing surfaces together. These generators can even harness energy from everyday activities like waves crashing on the shore or the wind rustling leaves. It's a bizarre but promising way to make power from simple movements and friction. As you've seen, electricity doesn't have to come from power plants or solar farms. From bacteria-powered fuel cells to lightning harvesters and triboelectric generators, the world is full of strange and innovative ways to generate electricity. These technologies aren't just cool, they could play a major role in sustainable energy solutions in the near future. So, what do you think? Which weird electricity generating method surprised you the most? Do you think we'll be charging our phones with sweat or powering our homes with plants one day? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed learning about these mind-blowing ideas, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos on the future of energy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.